from the Tie Cats Audio Network. This is Morialli and Hitch. All righty, all righty. Welcome back. We had to wait for Hitch to get his coffee. What's that, espresso you were making? Yeah, did you hear it? Some was yeah, that's humming loud. and buzzing. You can, you can hear the dryer all the way here. Yeah, these this thing here, this thing here is you can, it's lots. You can hear it. Hey, look. Oh yeah, it's lots. Picks up everything. <laughs> Picks up. Okay, well, welcome everybody. The Morialian Hitch Podcast episode, whatever, because we stopped counting, and yeah, uh, it's a lot. We got lots to talk about. We got lots to talk about. Okay, we we got to talk about the cats. We got to talk a lot about Danny's uh, event. That was a that was a good couple of days, and then uh, Butko brought up the uh, Blue Jays. Oh, oh, did you watch the Jays? Did I watch? Oh. I got a hundred dollar bet with the guy at work in Arizona. He's a Mariners fan. I was all over him. Oh. Eight to one. Eight to one. Oh, <laughs> I should, I should know just better. Me. Should know better. He I said better. that was the only game he's watched all year no, was when they lost. He's nodding, and there, but he said he went to go see a game in person, which they also lost. So obviously, there's a theme Butko's here. Halt. Butko yeah. went to his first CFL game like a year ago. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they lost that too. And, and they lost. Cup, and they lost. lost that too. This yeah. podcast is going in the shitter because of Butko. This mm-hmm. is like a constant theme. Maybe Constantly. you should just quit. <laughs> you should quit, but they don't even pay him. So no, that's keep your true. Job. Keep your that's job, but go. You're, you're getting paid, you're getting paid exactly what you're worth, just like me and Rob. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> welcome everybody. So okay, well, let's talk about the Jays a bit. I mean, when this is you know hockey country, well maybe not anymore football country, but when the Jays are in the playoffs, it's crazy. Electric. And you know you can go to it. You can go to one of the whatever eighty something home games during the season, and none of them ever compare to a playoff no. baseball game in Toronto. No, the atmosphere. I mean, I I I followed the Jays this year. I didn't watch them religiously. I, I did watch a lot of their games, but again, sometimes you know, in in May and April, or in, yeah, when they start in April and May, you're not watching nine innings of baseball in, no, in May and no, June. No. It's not happening. But I tell you, when they start winning, and then there's you know a month left in the season, and they've got a chance to go to the playoffs, then you start. Oh, then I start watching. So I I was impressed. They got a young team, but oh my god, how do you lose eight oh. eight to one lead? Eight to one lead, and, and the game they had to win. Yeah. They had to win that game, and it's all here. Trip. It's all. It's all. Everybody talks about it now. I don't know if you watched it, but uh, the starting pitcher, um, I think Gosman, Guzman, Gosman, he was uh, he was doing well. Bases were loaded, two outs. They pulled him, and they brought another pitcher in, and boom, three run shot. Like, man. Yeah. So what do you what do you do? You leave the guy in for one more, and he was pitching well. But again, that that's the strategy of the managers. They know when who's coming up, and the tendencies of where guys are hitting, and. Uh, I don't know. I I say keep them in, of course, because they lost. But, <laughs> but, but I know it's just crazy. an arm. Hey, we're armchair quarterbacks here, right? What do you, What do you think about that? The, the wild card playoff, the two or three, and then you play the first two at the higher seed. I mean, that's a, that's an advantage for the Jays that they just squandered. Yeah, right for sure. I mean, it's all the seeding that getting that home field advantage, and and it, it used to be the one one game wild card. Like yep. you play a hundred and what. 6886 games or whatever they play and you got you, and you make it four teams make it and you get one <laughs> game you get one game that's ridiculous and then here I'm saying again I was talking to my nephews and we're at their place on Saturday for Thanksgiving and uh by the way happy Thanksgiving belated yes they do but um and they should this should be a best of 5 even though they lost whatever and if it went the other way wouldn't be talking about it but it still should be a best of 5 cuz the next series is a best of 5 right now and yep. then the best of 7 so why not you play that many games to to lose two in a row? If you lose two in a row, you deserve to, I guess, to lose. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. that's the point. But I th- I still think it should be a best of five, in my opinion. So speaking of important games, the Cats pulled one mm. out of the behinds the other day, which was t- very timely um, against the team they needed to, right? And and I know the the head to head doesn't mean anything, but just being tied. In the stand, it was, it was important because the cats get their the uh, the go ahead based on a tie. But then, so they do that. 
terrific job coming back, maintaining the game. Tough to watch the game for you and I because we were here, there, and everywhere. I don't think I saw six can seconds I, of the I game. Can I tell to be you? Honest. I swear to God, <laughs> I don't think I watched a play. I, 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 honest to God, I, I I heard the crowd. I look over, but there was so much going on the whole game. Agreed. And then we left at halftime, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. No, we it was. We it stayed. was. Oh, we stayed. Of course, we did. Um, but yeah, it, it was. I don't know. That day was amazing. You bring that up, and they want Danny Mac. Danny Mac's day. For everyone who doesn't know, Danny Mac was inducted to the Wall of Honor. Thursday night, we had a fantastic dinner up at Carmen's in Hamilton, and uh, we'll, we can talk about that. And then Friday was the game. So it was an action-packed weekend because Thanksgiving came Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for me. Um, but what what a what a group of guys again got together. I know we can we'll talk about Thursday knuckleheads. night. Knuckleheads, a bunch of knuckleheads. And I tell you, we haven't seen Wood well Flutie since oh. the, since the show, and he looked just like he did on on <laughs> camera. <laughs> Not good. Not good. He didn't look good. No, but he was. He was there. so happy. He oh, was so he? Happy. he was in his round. He was in his round with. Well, he was with uh, with the fidgety Andrew. Yeah, Gregor and um, they those two man. I'm telling you, they're and Danny. I think oh Danny, they went to breakfast on the I think the well, Friday Danny morning. Danny didn't take care of Darren, eh? No oh money. yeah, Get no, no the wall. money. Get the American. <laughs> Can, can you guys break a hundred US? Well, we can now. We couldn't ten, fit twenty years ago, but we can now. <laughs> What a classic. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. We'll start with Thursday in a minute. But yeah, So they yeah. go up, they win. Ticats are now two behind Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, I think it's a bye week this week. Hamilton plays yeah. Calgary. So tough game. Tough game, yeah. but an but important Calgary's game. Calgary's in the playoffs, though. Calgary's in the playoffs. Yes. So they're not going to catch first place, so they don't have home field. No. So they're going to – well, I guess they could. If they play BC, they could have home field on that. So they're, they're both 10-5. and five. BC and Calgary are both 10-5. and five. So I like the fact that Saskatchewan has, has lost like the, their last three or four in a row. I like, know. like, come on, Hamilton, let's go away. Crazy. Like the door is open. The door is completely open, and, and Ottawa beating Montreal. That was my next point. It, I think there's a chance, no? Well, they're four, they're, they're, they're four and eleven, and they they have. <laughs> <that's bad. laughs> Here we are talking about catching Hamilton at four and eleven. <laughs> Hamilton's five and ten. Okay, five oh and ten with God. with with three games to go, if yes. I'm not mistaken. And Ottawa yes, has Montreal. Ottawa has Montreal, and I think Toronto. And Toronto's not going to play anybody. And I'm not sure. I know Hamilton plays Calgary, uh, Montreal, which will be a I huge game. I think they play Ottawa. I think they play Ottawa. I think they'll play. Ottawa. So, hey, you know what? It's their form. It's there for the taking. It's you know what oh. we say always. They control their own destiny. They win. Yeah. They win three. They're in. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Well, Just get in the playoffs, man. And well, hold on. It's maybe maybe not because if Saskatchewan wins three, they have oh, a better yeah. record. They have a better record than Hamilton if they win three, right? So they're out. But I think Ham- Hamilton's got a game in hand. I think Saskatchewan only has two games left. Well, let me check. Yeah, Bucko, 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 shaky, Bucko. Is it? Oh, he did something. Handy. You know what? You're nice. listening. He's listening. He's listening. Wow. <laughs> Is that a new hey, is that a him. new chair in your corner there? Is that that nice felt velour chair in the corner? That that looks good. Look at that. See the see the uh, look at the lamp. Totally. The lamp disarray. is still the lamp is still on an angle. You can still sleep in that chair. How many butts are on there? How many how many butts did you put that on that chair? That used to be. See the sh- <laughs> this chair is actually from the eighties for real. Shocking, shocking, Butko. If you look at your um, your the. Whatever that is, the uh, you know the lamp shade. It yeah. used to be white. Eh? That's yeah. from all the butts. From all the butts he smokes. <laughs> all it's the like trees. A all disgusting the yellow. <laughs> disgusting yellow. You know what we're gonna get oh. you. We're gonna get you a hitch and more yelly picture to put behind you right there in that. In yes. That. You know what? Why don't you have something like that for every show, Bucko? Yeah. Not just ours. Yeah. For every show. Definitely. I know want... where your bread is buttered. I want know that. where your bread is buttered. Okay, we're gonna get. Does anybody else give you any airtime? <laughs> On their show? Anybody else include you no, in their show? Never. No. No, you're an afterthought. Yep. With us, you're a forethought. You're at the forefront of everything we do. Without you, we're hey. probably a lot better. But. So I've got a buddy, Andrew Clark, who listens to. He's on my Penn's hockey team, as you can see. Can we start... go now? Yeah, you can go. Yeah, no, we're talking, that, uh... we're talking about okay, it. We're talking see. about what, it. What, what, what's the coffee cup is that? Is that Jane Fonda on your coffee cup? <laughs> oh. Who is that? <laughs> Fair faucet. Oh, oh, it's the Beatles. I thought it was Jane. Oh Fonda. my God, Jane Fonda. Very nice. 
Nicely so done. I got a, I got a buddy on my hockey team, uh, Andrew Clark, who travels a lot, you know, in Canada. He travels all over the place. He listens to our podcast, and he's like, I got to get on there one day. I love Botko. I love Morielli, how he rips them. And I, oh, guys love this it. Is, this is – I only rip them because I care about them. Yeah. I didn't well, care about them. Why would I even talk to him? That is I true. Like if we didn't talk to you in the locker room, that means we didn't care about you. We don't care If about we made you. fun of you, that means we oh, were we part like of you. us. That's we nice. like you a lot. That's very flattering. We like you, Butko. Yeah, you should feel good about that. Okay, now you okay. can beat it. All right. Okay, see you later. Uh, all right, let's talk about, so Danny Mac rolls into town Thursday night at Carmen's. Beautiful wall of honor dinner. We don't know what to expect. No. We walk in there. There was a crowd, eh? Huge and a crowd. bunch of guys that we played with who we haven't seen in a long, long time. And everybody was on like eleven. Everybody was excited. It yeah. was it was a great, great day. Oh, I loved it. As soon as I walked in, as soon as I see Marwan, Andrew running around drinking his sodas with lemon in it. <laughs> I don't drink I know you don't. You've been off <laughs> booze for eight years. I know. You don't drink anymore. Uh, Danny Max, uh, Kathy, his cheeseburger boys. We call them cheeseburgers. Yeah. That's, that's, I've called them that since they were born. And, uh, yeah, just the whole family. It was, it was awesome because it brought back a couple of memories um, from when I went in. And it was real neat just to see the guys. I mean, I, had, I was fortunate to have the 99. Yeah, 99 team was most of the guys yeah. were there. But I, I, there was a lot of guys there that he played with that weren't on the 99 team that were also there as well, which was really, really nice. Yeah. So, yep. what so who we had? We had Marwan and Belly and and uh, Dwayne Butler and T Shaw and uh, Jared Smith, Rigger, Jared Smith, Donnelly, um, Trevor Shaw, guys out. Trevor yeah, Shaw so, said Shawzy Coulter. Oh, we can't for, we can't forget Cooler being oh, there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I don't we'll talk anybody. about that one in a minute. We'll talk about that one in a minute. We can't Dwayne miss anybody. Dwayne Ford was there. Dwayne yep, Ford was he there. He said that. Yeah, Ozzy. Was there? Uh, Ozzy was there. Yeah, he was there. Um, oh, miss- Kojo? No, Kojo. Kojo was yeah, there. Kojo That's was right. There. That was See? another one. Didn't play in '99, but showed his support. That was awesome. Uh, uh, the, poli- the politician Diakowski. Diakowski was there. Yeah. Yes. He, he came his first year when we were cut, though. Wasn't it his he first did. year? Yeah, it was his first. He didn't get. So. He didn't get a chance with us. He would be ruined if he had a chance with us. Ruined. Ruined. Probably be better off. Wouldn't be the smartest guy anymore. No, he but he'd would. be better off for it. He'd be better off for it. <laughs> he would. <laughs> Who else? Oh, and we got a hey the, the seventy two Grey Cup team. Yes, there was I think eleven, eight, yeah, eleven Bobby players Gross and a bunch of guys. Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome to see uh, to see those guys who paved. And the then way. the old faithful, the other Wall of Honor. We got Les Brown was there, and Rocky, Rocky Di Pietro, Pietro was there. Yeah, uh, I think on the field. When they uh, when they introduced when they introduced everybody, it was it was Les Brown on the wall, Rocky Di Pietro, uh, Gar- Garney Henley, I think, yeah, and Aussie. myself. He wasn't there, but Aussie. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. five of us. Which, uh, and then guys that weren't there, Joe Monford, and uh, who else did Danny play with? Yeah, I think there was four guys that Danny played with in his career that are up on that wall: me, Monford, Ozzy, and him. I, yes. I, I, I think I was, so. I think I'm not. Anyways, but what a great night, a great dinner. We had an opportunity. Andrew Greg went up and, and spoke first, and then Flutie went up. Dwayne Ford actually was kind of the MC part of it, and yeah. he was just shaking his head when we came up there. We had some great stories, all of us. And then when Carl Coulter came up, and anyone that wasn't there or was was there knew oh. exactly what we're talking about. He got up. And he was talking like this. And he's got no voice left. And he Dressed went on all in answer. black. Oh, Johnny Cash. Johnny yeah. Cash. Same outfit as he had in 99. Identical outfit. And he spoke and, and but from the heart. Believe me, he was from the oh, heart. Yeah, he loves Danny. Heart. Loved, yeah. Loves us. Loves Danny. Loves that team. And then he went on another story. And then he went on another one. And then I looked at Dwayne Ford. We're sitting on this on the on the top of the on the stage, and we're all in chairs laughing. And Mike and I look at each other. Okay, we got to stop it. He won another one. And then what did you do? Then what did you do after about fifteen minutes? One more. Come on, one more story. And then he won another one. Okay, just one more. Just one more story. Okay, we got one more. And oh my god, it was comical. It was awesome. I saw, you know, Matt Affleck and. And the boys at the table, uh, Scott Mitchell, were there, and they were just like, "Oh my god, like this guy's got to stop." 
<laughs> he kept going and this going. This doesn't happen anymore, though, right? Yeah, but Danny got like, Danny got off. Everyone loves Danny. Oh, he got off. Yeah, he got off. I did you not get crushed. off, and that's no, not you right. Crushed. I could. That's it. perfectly right. Yeah, you not. deserved it. No, I did not deserve <laughs> that. I did that's, not deserve back that. Back to my point about Butko. It's a sign of flattery. We love you so much. We got to give you the the beats. We, we respected Danny because his wishes were. We he's very quiet. He's you know he's he's in the back. He doesn't doesn't say too too much. But he's a silent leader for us. But I tell you, he there were some great stories about him. Oh, we all know he loves to drink beer and pull his shirt up underneath <laughs> this thing at the bar. <laughs> Remember that? No, that was the worst. That was the worst thing. I think Kathy looked over and was like. He pulls his oh, shirt yeah. up. Oh, With he a pulls big hairy shirt. belly. Oh, big, big hairy belly, belly hanging out. Forearm, oh forearms God. like Maguire. <laughs> He's got these big forearms, all full of hair. Oh, anyway, so that was that was a a, a great night, uh, and then of course the game was was great. I mean, we had uh, we went into the uh, the alumni room beforehand. We signed some autographs. Saw his family again, and. Just, just shot the shit, which, which was which but the was great. laughs we had, the, the laughs. laughs about just stupid stuff. Like I was just so excited to see Darren because I haven't seen him in twenty years. It's like I never yeah. missed the guy. Like he never yeah. gone for a day. Yeah. And then who, I look out of the corner of my eye, who rolls into town but David Allen? Uh-huh. Has no idea what's going on. No, he has no idea it's Danny's Wall of Honor. No. He has no idea that we're there. He's just in town with the Bet Regal and he's doing his thing. And yeah. he thinks ah, and he goes and he's part of the party. And I turn over and we look and there's Coulter again. Same outfit. Yep. Black on black on black, <laughs> leaning against the glass wall. And I thought, oh God. He had a hoodie go on the glass wall. He yeah. had a hoodie He's on. He's gonna go through the glass wall. I told you to sheer did I tell you that I, when I was leaving near the end of the game, I was coming down the elevator and, and the elevator guy was there and he, he says, Excuse me, sir, uh the, the ele- elevator doors are open on number three. Are you getting out? Mm. Didn't hear mm. I'm like I didn't know who it was because I was already in. He had his hoodie, his hood on, and this is Carl. So I go, hey, bud. He said, are you getting out here? And he turns. He goes, no. I'm like, oh, Carl. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you okay, buddy? Like he had a, I think he wasn't feeling well. I know that. I, I know oh. he wasn't. I know he wasn't feeling well. I think compounded with a couple of cocktails. But he ended up getting out. He goes, I got to get out of here. I got to go. It's the end of the game. But he, he got into, I think, Danny's. Danny's uh, limo car or something and took him back oh, to him. Okay. Yeah, so no, he we, lasted the whole game? Oh, whole game. Yeah, he was there the whole game. Because he disappeared. He disappeared. The quarter. Yeah, he, Johnny Cash, and then he put, someone gave him a black hoodie and he just had the hood on. He looked, <laughs> he looked like he fit right in downtown Hamilton. It looked like he fit in. Oh. But anyways, he was okay. I heard, we, we, we checked on him. Okay. We checked on him. He was okay. But. He made it back. Okay. No. He made it back. No. Okay. <laughs> I said, Coulter, it's Hitch. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he was the best. What an animal! Yeah, what an animal! No, it was good. It was, it was good times. It was, there was there were so many good times, um, and then seeing Danny, you know, Danny, very, you know, a man of not a ton of words, but powerful, does a speech, goes in the pickup truck, and what does he want? He wants the old yeah, held crack the beer. of beer. How many times do you see that oh. in any pro sport? No, where you're, you know, the Hall of Famer. Gets in the back of a pickup truck, cracks open a beer. The only goes, that, that the only perfect. sport that I would think that would be is John Daly in golf. Yeah, that, that's he's John Daly of football. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is like, without the butts, without the butts, without the butts, and yeah. the gambling addiction. But yeah. other than that, well, good good nah, for the cats. Was... Yeah, good for the cats. They're, they they got to control their own destiny. They got to they got to who they play this week. Barco, my gosh, I should know this. I should have looked at this earlier. They play uh, Calgary. Don't uh, they? Oh, sorry, yeah, Calgary. That's right. That's right. Sleeping. It's in Calgary as well, so there he is. He's on and off. Yeah, yeah he's sleeping. So, how was? Uh, let's talk maybe a little bit about uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I had the migraine, eh? No, oh, that comes. Something you get migraine. that. You gotta get that check. Get, get an MRI, I dude. Go get an MRI. I've had it all. Do you think playing football had something to do with it? Maybe a little uh, bit. No, honestly, you've been <laughs> having that since I've known you. A long time. Long you get them bad. Eh? You gotta you gotta no <sighs> light. Can't go in the light. Nothing, right? Can't do nothing. I want to die. So I, that's what I did on Sunday. Just cr- crawled up to a fetal position and hoped for the day to end. What do you? How uh, long does it last? Pretty good. How long does it last? Usually like three days. Usually three days. What do you do with for? You take any? Uh, nothing works. I take nothing works. Once it once it hits me, then it's I'm toast. Oh. Like if I get it when I sense it's coming, I can probably you know tame it down. But once it hits me, look out, look hmm. out. So that was it. I missed the good. 
turkey dinner. Everyone over my sisters did the whole thing. I was at home. It's okay. Your brother, so ate, was, your brother ate for you. Your brother, brother ate everything. Ate everything. He, he takes everything. Yeah. Every time I see him, he's got a new, well, not new, new to him shirt from the CBL or the Honey Badgers or the Tigers or the Argos. He's got stuff from the Argos that I wore in 1994, 95. He's got everything. He's got everything. <laughs> And then now I look, and now his kids are wearing it. I'm like, where Where do you get this stuff? Yeah. He, he loves it. He took it all. He took it all. And he, and he kept it nice. He preserved it. He keeps it, it nice. Preserved he does. It. <laughs> he got, does. I don't have it in here, but my, my daughter was wearing the 99 Eastern Final Grey Cup shirt, the gray one we had. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had, yeah. I haven't worn that. I, I don't ever wore it, I don't think. And I just had it somewhere, and she found it. So she likes the girls, the... Kids these days, they like the retro stuff, right? They like yeah, the old yeah, stuff. Yeah. So she's, whatever, she's wearing that around now. How much of that stuff did you keep? I got lots of old hats and old T-shirts. I got all that shit. Yeah, bits. I got my, well, the Grey Cup jacket. Remember that blue one that we got? The pullover one? Yeah, the big, I don't the, got I don't, that no I don't, more. Really? Where's no. that? Oh, no. It's my brother's house, probably. <laughs> I, I've never worn it because it's, uh, it's a little bit big for me now. <laughs> I don't wear it anymore. But I have all the, I got hats, I got couple of t-shirts i got the gray cup white one remember the gray cup white oh yeah yeah yeah. with the green and whatever the whatever in the middle that that's on its last legs i think but you find all that hey, stuff you, in the thrift store now you can find all oh, that stuff in there it's crazy you know how much stuff i've given away just with tags on it still i just i'm not going to use it so i just give it to value village or the benevolent fund and whatever so you're, you're the guy that went up in the rafters at Ivorwood stadium and took all those boxes from the no, city guys. <laughs> but i know who did but i know who did it wasn't me yeah. Oh man! We played. Uh, so we had my my Thanksgiving was uh, went to my nephew Jordan's in Hamilton on Saturday, so he uh, he had everybody over. So we were there Saturday. Then Sunday we went to my my Michelle's cousin in Niagara Lake, more turkey. And then Monday we went to our friend Lori and Anthony's for yeah, three turkey, days. three days of turkey. Mm-hmm. But we but but Saturday was a long day because our uh, our Penn's hockey team had our. Uh, our golf little year end golf thing. So we teed off at eight o'clock. Yeah. So a couple of shots, a couple of <laughs> made for a long day. It was long. We got done at twelve thirty, but it felt like it was four thirty. It was long. <laughs> Fun day though. Boys are boys are good. We open up we open up Thursday night. You gotta come watch us play. We're in we're in Meriden by nine seven o'clock start. What where's Meriden? It's around right here. Below Thor, right below Thor. Right below Thorl there. Yeah. Oh know. yeah, yeah, right over here. Yeah. I know where it is. Just yeah, down the street. Just down the street from you. Because you were in Thorold. The, what the office? Metropolis. The Metropolis. Commissioner, CEO of the an elite basketball league, and his office is in Thorold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. It just made sense. We yeah, had made real sense. estate here. It made yeah, sense. Yeah, made Nobody sense. bugs you here. So don't no, worry. that's Everything's for sure. Good. Nobody bugs you downtown. Hey, have here. you been to John's Meat Shop in Thorold? No, where? Buddy, it's only cash. Yeah. It's only cash. Ooh. John's where Meat Shop. It? It's a little house right on... Um, I want to know. I think it's not Queen. I'll get the street. I'll get the street name for you. It's probably five minutes from you. It's a house, buddy. You want any sandwich, any veal parms, uh, chicken parms, anything? But they make. I go for a walk all the time. I look. I'll get. I'll get the. I'll get the. I'll get the address for you. But John's Meat Shop. Um, it's they make. There's the grandmothers. They go in the base. They make a thousand meatballs a day. Come on, buddy. And they have them in a they have them in a, uh, whoa, a little whoa, whoa, container. Whoa, whoa, you heard about it? Pine Street. Yes, Pine Street. Pine Street. Yeah, that's not. Far I don't, from I don't me. know. I know exactly and, and it's a it's a white house. It's a white house right on. Pine this has got to be around the corner from me for sure. It is. What's it's, the address, Bucko? It's uh, twenty eight Pine Street between Albert and, a, and Sullivan. And it's a white a white little house. Pine. You'll walk I'd in. Probably walk by it. And you'll see the sauce on your right and coolers and the, the, it's you'll... three hundred meters from my office. Go get a sandwich. I've walked by it a hundred times. How did I not know this? Because it looks like a normal <clears throat> house. That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the picture. That's what it looks like. That's it. A house. How would I know that? Well, because there's a little sign that's about three <laughs> by three that's on there saying John's Beach Shop. Go in and grab a sandwich. Oh, But it's only good. cash. You can't, bring, you can't bring any no, no, credit no, no, there. No, no, it's no. only cash. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just get a good plug like out it. for them. But, yeah. And how about Big Reds in Thorold? You ever go to Big Red? What do you mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's down. That's down, down. down uh, if you ever want yeah. good chicken wings, go go get them there. 
Really? Chicken wings. They they, they scoop I've them. been here for five years, eh? This is the okay. first I've heard I'll of I'll have it. to tell you about all this stuff. But By the way, you live like six minutes from me, and I, we, we don't think we've ever done lunch in five years. No. Once, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Once I met you during COVID at... The uh, where's the grocery store there you go to on uh, Antipastos? No, no, Antipastos. I go a lot to get yeah, on the not, way home. It's good, but the sauce isn't but enough. Nothing like John's Meat Shop. Nothing. Oh, that's good. They got a nice. Well, bolognese. The you place, like bolognese? Uh, Do you like bolognese? I like everything. If it's if it's homemade, I like it's it. It's all homemade. Not okay. cream though. I don't like cream sauce. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I, I don't know what you want. You went to Zare's Superstore. Doesn't matter. No, the uh, the one that's like Whole Foods, but it's uh, but it's not. Can't remember. Are you kidding me? Whole Foods. You no know Whole exactly. Foods here. It's the farm Harvest boy. Barn. Farm boy. Oh, farm farm boy. boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Jesus. Farm boy. So what's uh, what's the uh, what's on the agenda this week for basketball? What are you guys doing? You guys? I know you're Lots wrapped stuff, up, but buddy. Lots of stuff. Any this other teams hard, hard. selling? There's, any other teams? There's some teams. There's some action going on. We got some announcements coming up. So some good stuff. And we're starting our um, our international games pretty soon too in December. So I get to go on a couple road trips, go to Puerto Rico, go to Nicaragua. Oh. Not that Nicaragua is a hotbed for tourism, but it's actually very very cool when you get there. Like it's you would never go there, but once you're there, it's a pretty cool. And the weather's mint, right? You're yeah, right yeah. on the equator there. It's beautiful. Well, we've got. I think I mentioned to you that our our company's got an arm now. It's called. Uh, WAII, so it's uh, immigration stuff we're doing on on, mm -hmm. on the side, and uh, we're reaching out to all these countries now. So there's a there's a uh, a big conference in India, in, in Mumbai, oh my God. and Mumbai. Mumbai. So I don't know who's going to that, but I might I might throw my hand up to go to India. But there's there's, Puerto, there's Puerto Rico, there's San Juan, yeah, San Juan, Puerto Rico, there's everywhere. So I, I'm in charge of. Canada, U.S. with another guy, and then I've got South America. Nice, buddy. So, you gotta so. go. You gotta come Puerto Rico. Huh? Time I'll, it up. I'll have to time up. I'll call a lawyer out there up. and see if we can time it up. Let exactly. me go in. Time it up. We'll go see some basketball. <laughs> you gotta get perfect. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so um, what's I gonna say? Jeez, I had something else. Come on. Are they, oh yeah, are getting back to the cats quick? Are they are they healthy? Cause it didn't look uh, this time of year. Uh, I mean, what's, well, I still don't know what's wrong with Simone. No, he's been out. They haven't for, said anything. Eh? No, he's been tweeting a lot of stuff. Been looking at his stuff, but he's. But I don't know if he's set to return anytime soon. Hamstring or something. I don't know what it is. Pablo Van Zeel. I haven't seen him all year. No, 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 no. I right? don't know. I don't. So know. they're definitely hurting. I think everybody's hurting at this time of year. Let's face it. Here, you're just you're just, just uh, taping yourself together. Yeah. But um, but they got to win, man. Yeah, that's it. Got to win. Bottom line, man. Bottom line. Well, I'm looking Bottom. forward to looking forward to the next couple of weeks to see if they can get in at least get in because anything can happen in the playoffs. You know that. So. Oh yeah. Oh, you should have seen. I, I think I was telling you this story. So we've talked about Darren Flutie many times. Darren, is a, <laughs> he is the type of guy that you know you you would play with him, and he may know your name, he may not. It just you know, it depends on who you are, what day it is. When I met him in 1994, I got drafted to BC. I'll never forget, you know, rookie camp, going into the elevator, open the door opens, and there's Darren Flutie. And I'm like, oh, my God. Hey, Mr. Flutie, how are you? He's like, yeah, whatever, kid. But basically, that's what he did. He yeah. shut me down like I was nobody. Yeah. And then when he came back in 98, or he came to him in 98, I told him that story. He's like, ah, you know, I didn't even know you. If I, you know, I don't get to meet if I, you're not going to make the team, I'm not going to get to know you. <laughs> Basically, it's what he said. <laughs> and you didn't make the team. <laughs> and I didn't make the team. So he was right. So the whole, you know, our whole career, Darren would kind of, he'd be in and out. He'd have his core group. It, you know, it'd be us guys on offense and you and a handful of guys. But Darren would, like, kept to himself for the most part, right? You know, no belt buckle, oh. uh, bad runners. No wallet. No wallet. No, wallet, no Canadian money. No. So after the... Um, after the dinner, it was um, uh, Ryan Donnelly and Kojo and Mike Linton. Mike Linton played at Mac, a receiver, really good receiver. Kind of, yeah. you know, um, kind of Chris Rankin-esque, right? Yeah. You know, but strong, tough guy. So, you know, we're, we're taking some photographs of all the guys from Mac. And then, you know, Mike asked Dara to take a photo with him. 
So Darren goes to take a footprint's arm, and I can tell in Darren's eyes, he's like, do I know this guy? Did I play with this guy? I'm like, Darren, he, by the way, you didn't play with Mike, by the way. He goes, okay, good. Good. He goes, I, know, I, don't, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who anybody is. <laughs> so I'm just like, I can see the, the fear in his eyes where oh. he was like, um, am I supposed to know who this guy is beside me? Oh. Uh, but he, he went through the whole week again, didn't spend any of his money. Yeah. Danny bought him breakfast, oh, took care of him. Yeah, he yep. lent, Danny everything. lent him 40 bucks. Oh, that was day one. I'm day sure one. he lent a lot more than that. 40 bucks he lent him. I know Darren did. I know Andrew picked up breakfast at Denny's the one oh, night, even though Darren had like a hundred bucks worth of Denny's cards. No, he, he picked like a hundred bucks. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew brought up to Tim Hortons for breakfast. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, we oh. got to get a, we have to definitely give a, a shout out to uh, our alumni association for, uh, I don't know who's list. Probably nobody listens anyway, but they, they've done a, you know, they're unsung guys, unsung heroes. They haven't, there's a lot of that they, they do that people don't know about. Yeah, you know, course. putting on these dinners and and taking their time and you know getting people getting some of the alumni out to the hospitals and and just the different functions in the city and uh, you know Ryan and 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 the guys that have been doing that for a lot of time. I mean, we get called sometimes we just can't do stuff, but um, you know it, it takes a lot of time for these guys. So who's ever listening, we appreciate you uh, appreciate oh, you yeah. you guys doing all this stuff and um, you know. Well, hopefully we can do something in the future with you. Just call us it for was, the golf tournaments. We only get called cool. once every three years. so <laughs> It was good. I mean, that, that event, I didn't know what to expect because um, your dinner was different, right? It was at the it was at the yeah. uh, stadium. The Cats. So, well, the alumni still put it on, I think. But, but the Cats had brought in the 99 team, so they kind of took over that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. whole thing. And that was that was a great event. This was It was awesome. I was, I was pumped. There was hundreds of people there. Um, good time. I didn't realize that it's the alumni association that's in charge of the Wall of Honor. Yeah, that's who, that's who's in charge. Which is, I mean, that's pretty cool. I don't yeah. know how that works on the other teams. Like who goes into the Saskatchewan Plaza Honor? Who chooses them? I know the Cats have some influence or some say, but um, yeah. well, that's a lot of pressure on those guys because man, there's a lot of players. We never got asked to to vote on anybody. No, I think there's a core group there. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe oh, McCarthy's still what? involved. <laughs> Tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> a plane, a plane. <laughs> Mike, if Man, you're listening. we played with some characters. Uh, uh, hey, Mike McCarthy, if you're listening, we used to call you Tattoo when oh, uh, like when you when you, when you gave me 32000 in my third year. I called you Tattoo <laughs> on my way out. <laughs> what a beauty. What a oh, beauty. Wow. But we had, we had good. We had the good speeches. Great seeing. Uh, we sat with um, uh, the Mercantes and Dennis Concordia and uh, and Dwayne Ford and uh, you and I. And it, it was a good time. Hey, it was so, a good time. So I think when uh, um, Dominion Castings. Yes. The, um, what the gentleman at our table. You just, Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, yeah. So yeah. I guess Danny was thanking some of the people that were helping him out i get D- dominion castings is the one that wrote him that check i think oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes dominion castings <laughs> and he said to fasco <laughs> so we're, we're throwing it out there now dominion castings is the one that that's helped right. danny get here so that's there right. you go that's right it oh, takes yeah. a it, it's funny like uh you know the behind the scenes people that that are and this is maybe not so much now, but remember we played, like everybody tried to help the Thai Cats get guys. Like Foxy was always in the background oh, trying to Phillip, source deals. Or get, environmental. Oh, yeah, you got backdoor deals trying to get players here. Yeah. Because at that point, our owners were notoriously cheap. Yeah. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. So there was like the community was jumping in, which is really how it works in Winnipeg and how it works in Edmonton and how yeah. it works in Saskatchewan, right? Those communities get behind. I know it's, it's little, they're not easy to run, but everybody's behind the team. And for the longest time, that's what had to happen in Hamilton because the owners didn't have the cash to keep guys around. Right. Yep, totally. And then walks, walks Bob Young and uh, the rest is history. Now we need to get Bob a great cup. Like we need to uh, get him a great cup. Yeah. It's crazy. Great cup back in Hamilton next year. So, I, hey, I'm not yeah. saying next year. I said there's still no, lots, lots of Hamilton year left, but it is in Hamilton. The actual year, yeah. event is yes, in Hamilton next the, year, that's which will be good. That's what I meant. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be a good time. Well, bud. I did, eh? I don't know. I think it's a good day. We got a lot it's to It's a good day? Yeah, we good. set the bar low. Yeah. 
like to set the bar low. Butko, you there, buddy? Anything else before we go? Any, anything we didn't no. talk about? Any, any no. sayings we have to say? Any, no. like, uh, people we have to thank? No. There's this uh, promo for the show. I don't know if you guys have heard it. It plays during the live no, broadcast. I'll play it for you guys right now. I want to I wanna get your Please reaction do. to it. Mike Morielli and Rob Hitchcock have a podcast they're not particularly proud of. In fact, here at the Tie Cats Audio Network, we also don't take a lot of pride in what they do. But they do it every week. And you can find Morielli and Hitch on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. So, I don't know. It's your guys' name on the podcast. <laughs> I got to tell you, we need, we need, who voiced that over? Yeah. Peter? Who was that? I don't know. Who? That was, was, who was like Peter. That? What about I the content, though? Are you guys not proud of what you do? Are you? Yeah. No, I'm not very, no, not very no, proud at all, to be quite honest. But, I mean, How many, great. have we even looked? Has there been more listeners? How do you tell? I think like it is. <laughs> I think it is kind of ramping up the end of the season. It's we're getting a little ramping up, eh? Because I think it's on like YouTube. I think it shows a little bit, but then Spotify the same thing. I don't know. It's all no, that stuff it doesn't the same. show you how many views no, are it's a, on, it's on YouTube. It does, but Spotify. All I know is we're, this podcast is carrying the whole audio network. I know that. Yeah, that's for sure. Which is not saying much for the rest of the podcast. No. We should have a podcast off. I would go toe to toe. Can you split this screen and we'll just have like a podcast day and we'll just podcast the shit out of everybody, yeah. whatever that means. Yeah, sure. Whatever and we'll that have means, some content. We'll, we'll talk. Mike and you I will talk what? for one minute before, and then we'll crush yeah. you guys. Because you know what, we we talk like we just talk normal. But go, you know this. You hear all the podcasts. These other guys, they stick to a script. You know, get the suit and tie. You gotta look good. This guy's who cares? He's been wearing that stupid pea hat. Look at those glasses. Hey, Look at hold it, on. These dogs eyes. barking. Look at my eyes. Look at they're bleeding. They're bleeding. I can't. Look at. Oh my gosh! And don't say stupid. This is uh, this represents the penguins. <laughs> this is my <laughs> hockey league, buddy. Why don't you come and ankle skate on our team? Oh, you I could use wait. an ankle skater. Lose, lose my two front teeth again. I look forward. Oh to my it. gosh! Sounds All like right, a plan. Buddy. Yep. Well, with in. that, from uh, you know myself, uh, Rob Hitchcock, David Bucko. This is another installment of the Mori Elliott Hitch podcast. Right here on the Thai Cats Audio Network. Have a great day. Hey, time out. Don't can't don't what? cancel yet. I gotta show you something. What happened? I Are we still forgot. on? Yeah, we're on still, right? We're still on? Yep. For those of you who well, can't you're not watching this, I'm leaving Arizona last week. I'm leaving Arizona, it's I don't know, I got a midnight flight and I'm having just some Thai food at this little fast food restaurant and in comes a guy. And yeah. I'm Tony Deegan, my guy I work with, is like, uh, you know who that is? I'm like, oh, of course I do. And he's about to ask him for an autograph, this. And I said, don't ask him. Like, don't say a word. Anyways, he comes over. He's starting to talk to everybody. Oh, so I don't know if you can see this. Oh, you told me. Charles, Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Very so, nice. You had a picture with him. Yeah, look at my hair. <laughs> look at my hair. <laughs> oh, your hair's bad. Bad hair. Dude, don't you remember we were there like eight yes, years ago? Yeah, but we didn't meet him. He was at the bar. No, this right. was a, he was at a different bar. But anyway, so okay. It, a long story short, he I think I told you already, but he uh, my my buddy Tony says, oh, this guy played in the CFL. I, ah, he had no idea, right? But he he did. <laughs> And then he's like, do you know Rod Black? And I'm like, of course I know Black. He goes, will you tell Blackie? He says, I love Toronto. This is my, I always say it on, on the panel when I'm, when he's with uh, with Shaq, those guys, it's his favorite city is Toronto. And he knows yeah. Rod Black from TSN. I said, well, Mike and I, you know, my buddy and I told him about your league. I think yeah. I told you the other day, I told him about your league. And um, anyways, long story, it was pretty cool. Just the fact that, you know, he knows Rod Black. And I said, we played with him and. He's like, you tell him, you tell him, Shaq, you tell him, Charles says, Sir Charles says hello. And I said, well, if you see him, tell him Hitch says hi. So anyway, <laughs> so it was, it was kind of, uh, it was kind of nice. So anyways, like that was it. my it, thing. It just took, it's good. It took two minutes more of the podcast. Yeah, so now sorry. we're closer to this, this 40 minute time. That, what a disaster. <laughs> Listen, well, let's sign off again. Butko, yeah, Hitchcock, Morielli, ciao. Peace out. That's another episode of Mori Alley and Hitch on the Thai Cats Audio Network. Have a question or a comment for them? Email us at mnh at ticats.ca. That's M A N D H at ticats.ca.